Hi, and welcome to our first webinar for the Excite Pro Series. My name is Daniel Ramondetta from Mobo Australia, and today we're going to talk about our 2D and 3D solutions and how they can benefit you as a contractor. Let's start with our 2D solution. So here you can see our system components. We've got our Excite Pro screen. It's a full 8.4 inch screen, touch, quite slim, and with one connector to go to the computer. We've then got our light bar, our main computer, our laser receiver, and G2 sensors. Now these G2 sensors, the first thing you'll notice, they're extremely compact. They've got a 200 hertz refresh rate, extremely reliable, and fully waterproof with no submersion kit needed. Now these sensors get mounted on the hitch or bucket, dipper arm, main boom and frame of the machine, and we can also accommodate tilt buckets or tilt rotators and dual boom excavators. Now a huge advantage with the Excite Pro Series is that it can be upgraded from 2D to 3D, meaning it's fully scalable. In our 3D solution, we use the same hardware as we did in our 2D solution, but we add two GNSS antennas and one GNSS receiver, which goes inside the cabin. Now looking at the different design elements of the screen, we've got our design view, our profile view, our dashboard, and our quick reference buttons. Now everything on this screen is fully configurable by the user, so it can be suited to your daily needs. We'll start our simulation tool now, and you can see I'm scrolling up the top at our different views. So going through our front view, side view, and our freehand view. Freehand view is preferred by our customers that you can easily zoom in and zoom out just using common gestures and also just scroll around the screen to look at the machine at different angles. We can then select the left tip, right tip or center of the bucket, swipe and go through our different cross cut or long cut profiles and same on the dashboard to swipe across and we can either measure to points, measure to surface, or measure to line and surface. So we'll start by creating a simple profile in this uh, tutorial. So now in 2D mode, we're gonna create a V drain. So we'll start going through this now, leave it in 2D mode, press next, and we're gonna add a simple profile. And now in this simple profile, it's going to be a V drain and we're going to duplicate the slopes from the left side to the right side. So now we've put two slopes in and we're going to go across like so and we're going to duplicate the slopes. So we put our different design elements, 1.5 meters across, minus 20%. We can then lock the different elements and that way when we alter the distance, it's not going to alter the slope. and then we're, we've got the model created. Now what, we can now overview the model, make sure we're happy, change the direction of the excavator as we're in 2D mode so the system doesn't know where we are. Once we're happy, press next and everything will be uploaded to the working screen. And now we're ready to work. So now we talk about our compass and the compass is needed in 2D mode when we're digging single or dual slopes and we want to dig on an angle. So as we rotate the machine around, it will know exactly where we are and we can adjust to the right height of our model. Now, if we're using GPS, we don't need the compass as we've got the GNSS antennas on the back of the machine and it knows our heading. So this is only needed in 2D mode. And it's a really easy way to know the exact position of our machine and then we can adjust our bucket to suit the profile and cut to the right height. We're going to create an advanced profile in 3D mode. In advanced profile, basically what we're going to do is create a line and we're going to stake at that line in 3D mode. So essentially our bucket becomes our rover. We can stake out some different points 
instead of using a rover we're going to use the bucket to do that drive the machine to the second points add go to a third points add and then we can drive to a fourth points if we like and do the same now we don't need to drive to the point we can also manually type in the different um, heights or different position so once we've created that line we can add a profile to it so this time we go to advanced profile and we do exactly what we did in the 2d menu this time we're doing it in 3d though so we put in two slopes we duplicate those slopes since we're doing an advanced profile and away we go so we put our slope in negative 20 percent And this time we can make the lowest part of our V-drain, our center line, which is the line we created. Select it on the screen. And now the model we apply to the line. And we can look around that to make sure we're happy with it. Once we are, press next and it will be uploaded and we can start digging. So this can be done all from inside the cabin. No need for a surveyor to come out and make this file. We can do it ourselves. Now, sometimes you might want to put a long slope between point one and point four. So the start and the end of the cut have a slope so that we can have water runoff. So again, we just go into our points. We select all the different points. Now these points are saved, so you can always select or deselect as needed. So we selected our line. Now we're going to put our long slope, and we can put maybe a 2% long slope in. It also records the distance between point 0.1 and point 0.4. So we're happy with the slope. And now again, we'll repeat the same process as earlier, which is go to our advanced profile to add advanced profile and again key in the same elements as earlier or any elements you like to create and away we go so exactly the same procedure we're going to do as before minus 20% slope Select our line, and now we've created the same V-drain as before, but this time we've added a long slope from the start to the finish, so we can have that water runoff. And now we can look at our model and start digging to the right profile. Now a very big advantage with the Excite Pro system is we are open file format and that means we can load a land XML file or a DXF file straight from a surveyor into the system. You're not locked into any proprietary software uh, to achieve these tasks. So here we'll, load, we'll start to load the system up. So we'll load our MGA, which is our zone that we're in, load our geoid. and then go next and we can import the model and we can have a lot of different design elements in this model and we can load them make them active or deactive so now we've loaded our model straight in no problem and we can press the up or down folder section and go through the different layers of the model we can then measure to a line just by holding the line down and you'll see here the distance to our line and their height to our surface.
And that's the end of our tutorial. Thanks for your time. And uh, be sure to look at our, either our microsite, which is www.excite-pro.com, which is product-specific information for the Excite Pro system, or look at our YouTube channel, and you can look at some upcoming videos of how we can import a model, either via USB or through our office tool. Thanks again for your time.